Wazer is finally delivered. The Wazer is a water jet that you can actually put on your desktop and it took a bit to actually get it back up to the house. It was delivered in the middle of winter so there's challenges that come with that like a pretty slick driveway and we're on a pretty steep driveway as well so that combined made it pretty tricky. It was delayed a few times and finally this was the day we were going to try to get it done. So we had them drop it off at the bottom of the driveway just because we needed to have it dropped off and we were going to figure out a way to get it up the driveway. Eventually we actually, our neighbor came to the rescue and came up with the idea of taking what is a truck bed liner that has a rope tied around it and we slid it under just like a sled and tied it to the hitch of our Suburban and we were able to drag it right up the hill and that made it so much easier. Now inside the box, here's all the different components. Now, I'm a big fan of Wazer's design. Like if you look at their branding here, here's the user manual. The colors are great, like a gray on like a light gray. I think that looks super professional and it gives it a great unboxing experience. But you've got user manual, a whole bunch of different fittings. Looks like there's your water tubing and stuff. The beds that your your projects will sit on looks like that's the the that's the grit that's going to be going through the nozzle. So everything appears to be here. This is the stand kit, which was an option we decided to get so that it can sit on the floor with its own stand. This is some really nice packaging. Yep, these look like the the main one of the four legs that holds it up. Here's the main unit. What a clean design on this whole thing. There's really no exposed parts. Like when you think of a CNC machine, you'd think you'd see belts and linear rails and bearings, but everything is covered really nicely with these, looks like rubber way covers, and there's not really anything ugly on the machine. If there's, it's, it's just all clean. This is the grit that it mixes with the water to cut the material. Looks like this is the second cutting head kit. Here's the water filter. The nice touch on the filter is that on that dial, it's actually Wazer branded. Here's the toolbox that would have some of the accessories in it. Looks like a file for deburring. And oh, that's cool. Check this out. This is a deburring tool. So it, it deburrs in inner diameters. If you have a, a hole, you spin that around and that will deburr the hole. And a second container of that media. We also decided to get a few extra beds here. These tend to wear out as you use them, the water will slowly cut through them. So it's nice to have some extras. Basically what this is, is lots of layers of basically what's plastic cardboard. We've got four extras and five in total. In the very bottom here, we've got the pump box. This whole outer box pulls off. This is the pump box. Pretty big size, then what's cool is Wazer is actually cut into the sheet metal. I would imagine it was done with a water jet. This pump box here is pretty heavy. It says it's over 100 pounds. Here it is all exposed and you can see everything inside of it's very clean and there's windows on all four sides you can actually see into. When you open it, it's very light. It has little air hinges right there. These rubber dust shields are, they're really nice. It feels like a high quality rubber. And it looks like this front badge right here that says Wazer would have been water jet. All right, so that's the unboxing. I'm really looking forward to setting this thing up and getting some test cuts going. This looks to be a really nice machine that we can do a lot with.